All right, so how to see what these assistants can do. Let's let's get into them. Let's go get into the customer support one. We go here, we click test assistant, and now we start playing around with it, right? So uh, it speaks Spanish like we, you can always change that, as I said here in the previous video. Ho hopefully you've seen it. If you haven't, go see it. Don't watch this one until you've seen the previous two videos. Now, what it can do, so like it can answer questions about the company. In this case, I've set it up for FlowXO. So what can I do with FlowXO? Now it's searching through the knowledge base that we created earlier. Again, if you haven't seen the video, this is why you need to see it. Because I'm assuming you've seen them all and it, they're short videos. And it provides an answer. What, it, what can I do with Floex? So it looks through the knowledge base um, and it provided links as well. Now, let's just say uh, I'm not satisfied with that answer, right? I'm just gonna straight disagree with it. No respect for the chatbot whatsoever, right? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start, okay, like, speak English, please. I'm just gonna start being a bit disrespectful. How can I make a soup? Extremely ir irrelevant to flow like so does. Like, guys, we, we, we are not selling soups. <laughs> right so let's see and uh, and so like it provides an answer but then it tries to steer back the conversation to flow so i'm just gonna ignore that what ingredients do i need to make a soup there you go let's see what it uh, and right now this is costing us credits right and people can abuse this type of stuff and so it gives us a second warning. This one is a bit harsher. While well, I'd love to dive into culinary arts, but blah, blah, blah. Let's just talk about Floex. So, right, this is what it says. I can speak about the other thing, but my job is to talk about Floex. So I'm just going to ignore that as well. And I'd be like, um, how can I make a chicken soup? And see what happens. I think it's gonna give us a final warning and this one is like kind of very strict. And from here on, can I add lemon juice into my soup? Why not? It's very delicious when you do it, by the way. And there you go. And it, and it, it just completely stops answering other questions. And at one point, if I continue with this, it will actually ban me. It will give me a timeout of a minute. I want to talk about soups. And see here. Oh, there you go. So like whatever I type now, like it, it just banned me for a minute, by the way. Whatever I type now, it's not going to answer. It's just like, and it's not costing me credits, right? It's really great, guys. It's really great. So uh, I'm in a timeout for a minute, but then let's just restart this. And let's say that I want to uh, submit a support ticket. Well, you can do that as well. Uh, let's just say I want to, I mean, like you can steer off the conversation if it needs to happen conversationally. I want to add a flow in flow like so. Let's just go the conversation route because I can literally just tell it, yeah, I wanna, no, I wanna submit a ticket and it will let me do it. But let's just say uh, we are the customer and we are trying to go that route. Okay, so it tells me how to set up a flow, right? Huh. I don't get it. Now it's gonna start looking for solutions and it's following these rules here. This is really important. 
it's following everything we tell it and it happens through text and there you go i see you're having trouble with the flow could you please tell me more about what part you're finding difficult i don't know where to start by the way like this template it's readily available to you I am getting angry. Now, I said I'm getting angry because uh, one of the rules here is if it gets, if the customer starts getting irritated, like it will escalate it to a human agent or maybe submit a ticket. I'm really sorry that you're feeling frustrated. I'm here to help. Would you prefer to continue with step-by-step -step guidance here or would you like to speak with a life support agent for immediate assistance? Now, obviously I kind of shortcutted my way through this because I was like, you know, I'm getting angry, <laughs> uh, but it will detect sentiment nonetheless. So let's say a life support. It's like you're in a hospital, life support. <laughs> and there you go. Right now I'm speaking to an agent, right? Whoa. And if I just type it here and it will be here in this live chat. And if I just go here and this is the chat right oh, this is what your customer support agents can handle um say so like uh, let's let's restart this, this chat now the final thing i want to show you uh is the submit a ticket so i'm gonna shortcut my way here i'm just gonna tell it to i want to submit a ticket and that's it i want to submit a ticket and by the way, like whenever a user starts getting angry or something, this is where the escalation agent kicks in. Like you didn't, you didn't even see when the escalation happened, right? It's, it just happens organically through the chat, but it happens on the back end. It's really great. I understand you'd like to submit a ticket. Could you please provide your email address so we can assist you further? Sure. I mean. Uh, you all know my email address so I'm just gonna type it here please don't abuse it I'll find you so this is my email address maybe it might be able to pick up my name as well could you please okay so now it wants to describe the issue so it can update the support ticket I don't know how to build a flow that bans a user for 30 seconds and then tells me a joke or I don't know, something that doesn't make sense. Now it's updating the support ticket and let's see what it does next. Now, we can, uh, we can mark how severe this issue is. For me, it's urgent. So I'm just going to go with urgent. And see, all of this is happening, is happening organically through a conversation. Users do not need to go like to click five links to get to this option, right? It just happens organically in the same flow. It's really great. And in, on the back end, like you can connect it with all of your systems, all of your CRMs. Now, this will be a lesson for another time but nonetheless you can do it and there you go it's creating a high support uh, ticket for me it's been created and yeah it will notify now the whatever systems that we have in place it will tell the customer support uh, to reach out to you and that's it so hope that's been useful to you